Hi everyone, today I come to you from the Amit Torani Chadash Elementary School in Steyrot, one of the bigger schools in Steyrot. And why did I pick a school for our video? Well, today Steyrot became an R in city. What does that mean? Well, you know, in Israel there is a system. Every city is graded by color based on how many people are sick, how many people have vaccinated. And today Steyrot became orange, which means they'll be able to open up and they'll be able to have the kids come to school tomorrow and celebrate Purim with their costumes, which is, you know, something which is the custom in Israel. And it's so important this year after the kids have missed so many days of school because of COVID. So thank God for that. So now I want to share with you a very short message for Purim based on what we've been talking about the last two weeks. And that is all the commandments we have on Purim, which falls out on Friday in Yerushalayim. There's a triple Purim, Friday, Shabbos, Sunday. But all the commandments we have on Purim have to do with giving. Mishloch Manot, giving two food items to someone. Matanot Levionim, giving gifts to the poor. Even the Seuda, the festive meal which we are obligated to eat on Purim, there's a custom to invite people over, people who don't have means to have their own meal. Everything has to do with giving. And that is the secret for the victory of Purim. The giving, the caring, the unity, showing that we really care about each other. Because when Haman came to Achashverosh to tell him about his master plan to destroy the Jewish people, he said there is a people that is mifuzar or mifura, that are all scattered. Now the simple meaning is that they're all scattered around the empire. But our rabbis tell us what he meant to tell Achashverosh is now's the time to get them because they're not united. They're divisive. They're fighting with each other. Mordechai and Esther knew in order to fix that, they have to unite the people once again. And that's why they talk to each other, Mordechai and Esther, about getting the people together, gathering them. And all the mitzvot which we celebrate every year has to do with that. The unity, the caring of each other, to show the world that we are united. And when we're united, you can't touch, you can't touch us. You can't defeat us. That's when we're our strongest. So let's remember that, especially in a year like COVID, where really people need each other. They need the care. Let's show each other how much we care. And I want to remind you once again that right after Pearl, we will be beginning our yearly campaign for Pesach, that what's called Kimcha de Pischa. The needy families in Steyrot need our help to bring food on the table for Pesach, for the holiday of Pesach to make sure they'll be, they'll be able to celebrate in a very joyous way. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful Purim, a happy Purim. Thank you.